Let's unwarp a gate. Hey, we got a nice horizontal fence gate here, but it's warped. Here at the top on the latch side, it's coming in there about a half inch on the top. And down at the bottom, it's pushing in inward about a half inch. So we're gonna use a true latch gate brace on the back side to unwarp it. Okay, I got two blocks here on the ground, basically two sets of two by fours. You can use one set of two by fours or two sets, whichever one works in order not to scratch the paint on the brace. And when you set it on the ground, when you set it on the ground, set your brace on the blocks. Don't set the threads on the brace like this. Then you're gonna warp your threads. You're gonna bend your threads. So put it on the body of the brace right there. Then this end down here at the end of the brace, at the end of the blocks. So it'll be off the ground a little bit like that. Then you're gonna wanna put a little bit of downward pressure with your foot. And try to put down straight downward pressure so you're you're putting straight down and not to bend it at a at a funny angle you can brace yourself against something so i've got a, a truck tailgate here basically i need to put a little bit of bend in it here and then this is going to be the weakest point where the uh the uh brace comes together the main body and the extension so if you look down the end of the brace here i knew i needed about three quarters of three quarters to a half inch of deflection. So from this point down to the other point and right there in the middle, it's about a half inch to about a half inch of deflection. So that should be what we need. So we're gonna try it like this. So you can see down here at the bottom, we need to push that bottom side in and I've got the gap here in the middle. I can put my pinky finger in there that's the gap. So to counteract this warp, we needed to have the bend be away from the center of the gate here. I can almost fit my fingers in there. And down here, it's gonna push at the bottom, push out to the front, and hopefully that'll take the warp out. So we're gonna temporarily install the one screw at the top, one screw at the bottom, and then uh, here at the center there, we'll screw one screw there and see if that does it. Okay, so that was enough to almost perfectly take out that warp, and that's it. If it didn't work the first time, put a little bit more bend or a little bit less bend to get it just exactly how you need it. So I just need to put the rest of my hardware in and we're done.